Hi, I'm Nicole Scott from Mobile Geeks. The inception of 3D printing can be traced back to 1976 when the inkjet printer was invented. Today, most printers use a form of plastic, but the technology has evolved to empower people to create just about anything. The makeup industry is being revolutionized. Next generation guitars are popping up everywhere. Need to supply your army with guns? No problem. Houses. Dresses. And of course, biotech is all in with prosthetic limbs that are custom made and look stunning. If you have a small bladder, you can even get a new one of those printed. Here in Taiwan, there is quite a bit of cool 3D printing going on. But if the maker scene in Taipei was a person, I would say that it's just blossomed into adolescence. Over the past year, seven maker spaces have opened up with 3D printers, laser cutters, and Arduino workshops out the wazoo. But with Taiwan's heavy investments in all levels of hardware innovation, I love that Stu came across Long X Long, a local company that has printed a 3D dress and we're showing it off at the Maker Fair here in Taipei. Hi there, this is Stu from Mobile Geeks, and today is a very special day because the Maker Fair has come to our backyard. It's here in Taipei, Taiwan. So what can I tell you except be a maker right here, right now. They're developing this kind of material, which is kind of like chain mail. You can see on the back here, there are many hexagonal shapes which are linked together to make clothes. Uh, right now, <clears throat> actually it's not that comfortable. You can kind of see that if you had this against your skin, it probably wouldn't feel that great. But the idea is eventually, this is just a prototype, to make uh, 3D printable clothing. An example of which we have right here. So right, right now we have a 3D printed heads-up display prototype. So right now I, I can see in my, my right eye, I can see uh, a number. I can actually change the uh, brightness of the screen. Oh, it's this guy right here. Oh yeah, so you can see it's, the display is getting brighter. But the idea is that if I'm on my scooter or my bike, or if I'm Iron Man and I'm flying through there, I can see a reading of uh, my motion, so I can see how fast I'm going. So basically, it's a motion sensor built into this heads up display. It's a prototype, but it's kind of interesting. <laughs> So, while Stu is still playing around at the Maker Fair, let's take a look at what's going on down south with eTree and their 700,000 euro German metal 3D printer. That might sound a little bit expensive, but consider how much it costs to use a tailor-made cast or precision machine techniques. 3D printers in many cases are faster and cheaper as they build objects from successive layers of metal powder. Right now, the primary use of metal printers lies in medical, dental, and aerospace industries for both prototyping and manufacturing. The method we're seeing here is selective laser melting. The machine takes metal powder and uses a high-efficiency laser to melt it into a design. Once it's gone over the pattern once, the machine moves the plate down and a fine layer of metal powder is pushed over it, and the process starts all over again. Though the initial price tag might seem steep, sales of 3D metal printers were up 75% in 2013, and the industry grew to just over 3 billion that year. So that was a quick look at just how long the vertical is for the maker scene here in Taiwan. If you liked this video and would like to see more, be sure to subscribe to our channel. I'm your host, Nicole Scott, for Mobile Geeks. Bye.